Hello everyone, welcome back to another studio vlog. Oh my hair is so getting really on my nerves. It's better. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to another studio. Oh no, it's worse. Oh my goodness. Right. Anyway, hair aside, it's way too long, need to cut. Um Right, um, welcome back. So you'll notice I am still in the Northern studio. I have actually been back to London since I filmed the last vlog, uh, but I'm back here now. Um, and this week, I well today, I really need to get some work done on new hardback um, planner and journal covers. So we're doing two new artworks, um, two new cover choices that I want to introduce for autumn. I'm a bit behind on these, I'm not gonna lie, but anyway so um as you know if you've been if you're new i will explain how we do this so these um cover artworks i create using my abstract paintings and then we foil um the designs and the personalization on to create your journals and planners so you get something like fun and unique and a bit different so i've got two new designs to introduce um I've sold out of a few of the older designs from like the 2019 uh, collection which I was keeping going. I've decided not to restock those, um, so that's Adventures in Pink and Into the Blue. I'm not bringing those back just because I felt like having like any more than, at the moment we've got eight designs to choose from and it's just quite a lot, um, it's just quite a lot and I want to keep, keep things fresh and keep them moving. So. I'm going to say goodbye to those and say goodbye to Coral. Coral's almost sold out, so you've got two of those left at the moment. And when Hello Rainbow sells out, which I think it'll be around for a bit longer yet, when that sells out though, that will be it for that as well. So we'll be saying farewell to um, to those designs and replacing them with something new. So I've got to finish those off. So I've had a few ideas and I know what I want to do, but... I don't know, I'm just kind of struggling to sort of bring things together. So I'll show you how I get on anyway in this studio vlog. I thought I'd show you some of the things I've been working on so far and some of the designs um, that I've kind of been playing about with and some of the colours. So the first one I want to show you is this one. So, um, which is um, sort of very kind of dark and very bluey and it's got kind of all this orange and pink kind of coming on up here. It was actually inspired by something I was working on just completely randomly back in February you know, when it was locked down, we we're all bored at home. I started doing quite a lot of like alternative illustration just for fun. Um, so I created this picture and it was this sort of night sky that I'd painted in the background and I just thought, oh, that's so pretty. I wonder if I can turn that into a into a book. So that's sort of where the inspiration for that one came from. Um, but I am just a bit worried about this, that it might be a bit too dark. Um, so I got that one. I've been playing about with this, which again, is probably just a little bit too dark. And then I was also, then I started playing about with these sort of turquoises and dark blues. But at the moment, I... I mean, for this, for example, I don't, I prefer the Into the Blue we've got at the moment to probably this one. And I feel like if I don't love it more than something I've got already, there's not really much point in making it. Um, the other things um, I've been working on are, this one's a lot of pinks, but I'm not overly excited by that. Um, and this one, which sort of a bit more, has a few more yellows and lilacs in as well, which I, I do quite like these colours. I just, I'm not clear, I'm not delighted with the sort of shape of um unlike the flow of the colour on here so again this one needs a bit more work it's not the camera's not really picking up the proper colours but hopefully you can kind of get an idea um and then I also have this and this is just a bit of a mess to be honest and it's very similar to something I've actually created before so it's very similar to Adventures in Pink as well actually down to the sort of placement of the of the orange so anyway so that's that. So that's where we're at, at the moment. This thing I've been doing is gathering a lot of images on Pinterest. So I normally have a Pinterest board for each collection where I gather images and colour palettes and things that are inspiring me. So if you ever want to know what I'm working on, just head to Pinterest and have a look at the sort of the images that I've been saving to get a bit of a sneak look. So I've started out started out by looking at because I was really thinking about sort of night sky images based on the other picture that I'd done. So I started by just doing some searches for like um celestial and night sky and things like that and saved images which 
I thought basically was just nice and um, that's always how I start and it kind of sparking a bit of interest and almost like inspiration so I saved quite a few of those and also started looking for um, aesthetic kind of mood boards that people had put together so just like different images um, with different colours and and that's really what I'm looking for here is I'm, I'm looking for colour inspiration to see which colours I like that are going together um, really nicely that are kind of inspiring me a bit and this one this image just nothing else on this board I'm really interested in but this one if you can see I love this like this deep purple and then these pink candles I know it's quite hard to tell all of the detail in this but something like this was I just thought oh this is absolutely this is absolutely bang on what I want to do with our more pinky design something that's got a bit of like that rich sort of berry purple in and a bit of like the hot pink as well so from that I then started pulling out and trying to find some colour palettes and I don't think I've sort of found anything yet which really nails the sort of colours that I want to do it in but kind of getting there, maybe something a bit like these colours, so just bringing in the pink and the orange. And yeah, so that's sort of where I'm at. So I'm going to take some of these palettes and I'm going to take the colours and put them into Procreate and create some palettes on there. And then from those, I'm going to start having to play about and see what artwork we create. I have changed location just because I think, just get away from the desk. Um... And the important thing, the most important thing I always do at this point is don't put any pressure on myself to create something that has to be made. It's just about having fun and playing about with colours and seeing what happens because I don't know where the quote came from but um, I always think you know, your creativity, if you try and tell it to make you money, it just like just doesn't work. So that's not the quote. I can't remember what it was exactly but basically you get the gist. So that's what we're going to go and do now. So we've got some palettes, we've got a blank canvas and basically it's just a case of like <laughs> painting. I'm an intuitive painter I guess so I'm literally just kind of throwing the colour onto the canvas and yeah like I say quite often we won't get anything that we actually want to use. Sometimes we do so I'm literally just I like, actually feel like sometimes like if you don't think about it too much you kind of almost like make better things um, so I'll kind of start just like layering up and then go back through and I can start to detail and edit and and all of that good stuff but yeah basically it's just a case of this stuff down so I would normally be doing this with actual paint um but because I'm here <laughs> I don't have any of my paints with me and lockdown has forced me to do more of this digital art and I'm quite enjoying it actually I like to do both and this the benefit of doing this is that you have access to every single colour that you could ever want whereas obviously with um, paint you have to um, you're quite limited and good paint is very expensive <laughs> to come by so it's sometimes quite useful to be using this method just in terms of money saving as to everything else but I do still I do still do a lot of painting just for mainly just for fun for me um, and yeah excuse the hoovering in the back I think as well I'm always really aware that I tend to paint with the same colours and tend to kind of default to doing that even without sort of thinking about it too much um, and even now I'm like looking at this and thinking it's kind of looking a bit like refresh but that's okay, it doesn't really matter because this may not turn into anything at all
see my temptation here is kind of still <laughs> pulling up very strong and still I just can't like bear myself to like actually paint with some darker colours here. So I'm just now kind of starting to do a bit of colour merging to kind of build a bit of a base around these. that we can kind of go in. I really like to have the detail of, um, like I love the little details that you can find in pieces like this. You look at abstract art and you think, oh, it's just a block of color. And actually you look into it and it's not at all what you think. It's always really scary when you start to like something and then you start to just layer in new colours because you just don't want to ruin it but that's kind of the only way you sort of start to create something new is to just sort of keep pushing yourself outside of like your normal patterns because it's just a habit at the end of the day to paint with certain colours. to paint in a certain style, it's all just based on um, based on habit and I guess brain patterns as well must kind of come into it. It's kind of looking like there's a big crack that's appeared. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to try and get this camera to a good angle. It'd be much better if I had it overhead actually. I should get invest in something like that and then I could do sort of more of these like more like live artwork sessions would be quite fun because I think it's fun just to sort of see like, what you can do and what you can create the other thing I'm always aware of with the painting with pink is if you go too bright or too oversaturated you get that very plasticky almost sort of neon-y pink you end up with which isn't really the look that I'm kind of going for. But you also want it to be bright, so it's about kind of trying to get a bit of balance. I think the other thing I'm aware of is that my designs are often a little bit different, which is good, but you kind of almost don't want to be too different <laughs> um, and be too weird because you want it to have like a good appeal to lots of lots of people. I don't want to be like too I guess sort of niche but balanced against being, you know, having that sort of balance bit doing different things and sort of innovating and pushing the envelope a little bit because that's sort of what all design is, isn't it? It's just sort of taking an idea to the next level, just sort of seeing, seeing what else you can create sort of with the same things. You know what, I actually don't mind this, how this is going. <laughs> I'm actually quite pleased with how this is turning out, which I'm quite surprised about. I just don't know whether it looks a bit like a, a chasm is <laughs> And it opening up like there's some sort of earthquake. Maybe it just needs a bit more like kind of purple.
good thing about Procreate is you can always hit the undo button. I do try never to do that though because I think that if I was painting in the room, you know, for, it's for, you know, with paints, you can't, you cannot hit undo. You just have to sort of live with it and you can never really, I think depending on what kind of paint you're using, you never really sort of paint over you know, without kind of ruining the kind of look of so, I kind of like these sort of flashes of purple, you know. I'm using mainly here um, the wet acrylic brush in Procreate, which is what, and then the smudge tool, which is what I would normally use. Got a couple of layers, so I'm going to merge that down now. And I want to bring out this. It's almost like a green actually yeah I don't bring that out blend it a bit and then I maybe use quite like the turpentine brush if that's how you say it <laughs> just sort of create these um I actually don't know if I do like this anymore no I don't I think I went too far <laughs> ruined it Oh, see, this is my instinct, is I'm adding in, <laughs> like, I need to lighten it. It's too much, too much going on. Maybe there's just too much going on. It's like, blurs out. This is, like, real creative process behind the scenes. <laughs> um. Hi, guys. Welcome back. So, it's a couple of days later now and um, I've been continuing to work on the artwork and um, I haven't been able to film too much I've seen my camera run out of battery which is really annoying um, and yeah and then I don't know, we're still kind of struggling to get the camera angle right so you could actually see it. I think in the future I'm going to have to do like an overhead camera or something. Um, but I did think, I hope you've kind of found it fun to see a bit of the creative process. I've got the two designs finished now and I've named them and I feel like it's all coming together into a theme. So I'm really excited. So I thought I'd show you what you're going to see on a potential journal or planner very soon. So this is the first artwork, an artwork that I showed you on the iPad the other day actually. So this is Imagination and I have done a little bit of editing here but I absolutely love it. I'm so excited to have this one made. I think it's going to look really beautiful. Like this just definitely looks like the moon like poking through the clouds over here. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited. It's very different. Um, so can't wait to see how this turns out. And the second one, this is kind of where we landed after all of that work. This you might recognise when I was giving you my iPad tour was the design I said was a bit of a mess. Um, so I actually went back in and I did some work on it just to see what I could create with it. And I've come with this which I really like and I know it's, it's kind of similar actually to Adventures in Pink. But um, I think it is a lot different with obviously the purple and just a, a bit of a refreshed design and I really love it and I think it'll work so nice. I imagine like beautiful foil in the middle, kind of like that explosion. So I'm really excited about this. So this design is called Magic and so we've got Magic and we've got Imagination. So yeah, so those are the two designs. I'm really excited about them. So they've been sent off to the printers. They are being made hopefully as we speak they won't be here for a bit longer yet but um to me these have kind of come together now as a bit of a theme and the ideas of sort of magic and imagination so the theme for the season is going to be unlocking your inner magic which i'm excited about it's really sparking so many ideas for me around different things that we can do around this theme with other project uh, other products and things like that so yeah I'm, I'm really excited so our themes are kind of we're going to be talking about confidence and inner strength and and all of that so i'm excited to sort of develop that out a bit more which was what we'll be doing next week in next week's studio vlogs so I'm excited to sort of bring you behind the scenes of that as well. We're going to have a new postcard that's going to go in the orders, like the new free art print, which is going to be great all around this theme. And yeah, we're going to look at kind of how we sort of move on to this, this new season and um, 
and these kind of new hopefully empowering messages as well so i really hope you've enjoyed this studio vlog thank you so much for watching and i hope you've enjoyed this slightly different style um let me know what you think to the new designs and i will see you all next week <laughs>